What's up you guys, this is Oswaldo from Rock Entry and today I gotta share with you guys a milestone of mine and it's my first double digit, my first V10 at my gym, LA Boulders. Now I know some of you might say this is a soft V10 but at this point it doesn't matter because it's still a milestone in my indoor gym. If you're consistently sending in your gym and you're progressing, that's a huge deal. Think about that okay as long as you're consistent in your gym you're good at this point it helps me mentally and physically mentally as to the point where i can see a v10 and not be intimidated that's a huge deal and to be honest i even take this mentality outdoors as well as i've been climbing a lot outdoors lately definitely been helping my progress a lot let's get started with this climb i'm gonna break it down with you guys what i've learned from this climb most of these holds are pretty good there's no small holds they're not that crimpy they're just good enough for my fingertips but there's a lot of gaston moves right here as you can see here here and even here a little bit but one of the things that you can't really see in this angle is that the wall is curved it's at a slight angle there's a lot of body tension involved as well now, let's look at some of the attempts. Now, let's talk about this drop knee here because this is one of the cruxes that I really struggled with a lot. And you gotta keep in mind, the reason why I'm struggling with this move is it's a pretty aggressive drop knee and it's a pretty reachy hold for me. Another thing to keep in mind, again, it's at an angle so it makes it pretty difficult because I gotta pull in as soon as I grab this hold. Now, as I'm going through this video, I'm noticing that this move it actually looks pretty easy. And let me tell you, you guys, it is not. Being on the wall, trying to do this position here, it is extremely awkward. So what I'm gonna do is go into detail of exactly what am I doing? What are my hands doing? What is my body doing? What are my feet doing? Because there's so much going on. At this point here, at all times, I don't stop at all. I'm pulling on these two holds because again, the wall is at an angle. So I'm pulling on these holds. I'm trying to stay on the wall and notice that I'm carefully putting my right foot on this hold. And as I pivot to the drop knee, I bring my hips in. Notice what I'm doing. My hips are out at this point. As I'm twisting in with my hips, I'm adding pressure on this foothold or else it'll easily slip off. Now, I'm at this position here. I'm still pulling on these holds at all times. That's what's happening. So as I mentioned, there's so much involved. And it's still hard to reach over to this hold because again, I'm at an angle. So I have to reach out, but I can't release any of these foot placement or left hand hold. I'm locking off on this left hand hold, by the way, as well. And then from here, once I feel comfortable with the situation that I am on this drop knee, then I reach over to the next hold. But this is the thing, as soon as I reach over, I have to pull in. So as I grab this hold, I'm pulling in, and then I unwind my drop knee, I keep my core tight at all times, and then I bring my left foot out, and I move on from there. Big thing that I took away from this climb is, I can't rush my climb. I can't rush a certain move, a certain position that I need to be 
in order to move forward. So that's the major takeaway from this. Great, now that I felt comfortable doing this move, then I gave it another attempt. Now this is the next crux that I ran into and it's this swing, it was really really difficult for me and this is the thing, I had to throw for this side pull here and at the same time swing over to this foot chip here. So what I ended up doing at this point is just work this top portion because I wanted to get familiar with this movement. Now I kept practicing and I got to this point which was successful but notice I slipped a bit so I said to myself, you know what, before I do it from the start, I want to really get familiar with this movement. So I kept doing it. I kept doing it until I felt more confident about it. I knew that once I get to that point, I want to be confident enough to feel that I've done this and I can do it again at this point. And that's exactly what I did. So notice what I fixed here. On the left side, notice that I'm moving a little bit. And those small movements, to be honest, really does tire you out it really matters on the long run and notice what i do right on the right side i add more pressure on my feet i keep my core tight and i'm more controlled and when i throw i move down a little bit and i explode swing over catch my foothold and go from there this point i i felt like i'm ready to try and send it so here we go Now the reason why I'm sharing this with you is not to say that I'm a V10 oh climber or anything like that. I just want to inspire you and share with you what I've learned and from my mistakes and help you become a better climber as well. That's my main goal of this channel. I get so excited not only to see my progress but to see you progress as well. If you find this useful or helpful, please do consider to hit that like button. Love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.